Like, I used to seek out and cause controversy. Um, I don't know, should I just talk ambiently, or do you think I should focus it, like, right into the camera? Hit record and see what the fuck happens. Oh, it's recording. I like hit record because it also spells hit record. It also spells aggression. No, H I T R E C O R D. Well, I hit record. I, I was going to say hit is aggression. You can press it, you can click your mouse. It's not really hitting. Hit record it sounds like stereopsis. Hit record, dude. Stereopsis? Sounds like a hit record. I'm done with the image. No. Well, I guess I gotta maintain the image, right? Everyone thinks rock stars are cool when they probably like pick their nose and eat their boogers and maybe smell their ass crack and shit. Do gross stuff, but you never see them do that. You just see them jam. You just see them be cool. You know, all the gross stuff people do in their spare time or in behind closed doors. That I happen to do when the video, like some people get all proper and prim when they get on the video camera. No, I don't give a shit. I want to smoke a little bit of weed and expound on the nature of reality. Yeah. It's a grand idea. I don't know what it'll. You think it'll accomplish anything? Yes, of course. I think it's going to accomplish something. Not of course. It makes me sound like. You don't know what I'm saying, which is just asinine to even contemplate. Of course you know what I'm saying. Well, of course again. So, you understand, I understand, it will accomplish something. Your question was nervous energy when you already knew the answer. Oh. Uh, I kind of want to, but it's late and I'm kind of tired and not really sick, but my body is like sleep, sleep. Regain your moisture, put it in the right spot. We've been uh, playing music. Um, see, it's like I'm talking to you, I'm talking Hydration. to Hydration. Join us. Hydration, dude. So when you talk to the webcam, is it like you're talking, do you feel like you're talking to people? So see how you engage the webcam and you look at it? Mm -hmm. Are you talking to people or are you talking to yourself? Or are you talking to the ether or are you just thinking out loud. I'm talking to like JPX2000 or whoever, like R RPX100 or I don't know, randomness. Sometimes I make videos to people. It's been a while since I've done that. Well, I did that to Steve a couple days ago, but it was like a year old. It wasn't like... I mean, I could pick on people, but I don't want to pick on people. That's what I feel like I did, used so to do. So when you make your videos about things that you think about relativity, Space elevators and magnetism and things like that. Are you talking to someone? Do you feel like you're addressing someone? You're looking them in the eye? Do you feel like you're just thinking out loud? When I when I let go of my inhibition, it feels like I'm talking to someone. I know, man. <laughs> I know. Uh, I could do it. I just stopped doing it because I said. So you're talking to yourself, you're talking to everyone. Yeah. In that sense, is everyone always existing all the time? You're talking to people, even though they haven't received the message yet, they haven't watched the video yet. Are you still talking to them? Somehow. Because you're talking out loud. Because you're creating these thoughts, dude. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Like I feel like it. I mean, I definitely believe that everything happens backwards. Like the stuff that's going to happen already happened. I know it sounds weird. And it doesn't sound weird. I'm trying to think, like, if there's a forward, then there's a backward. If there's a backward, then there's a forward. If there's a forward and backward, then there's a 360 all around. There's a left and a right. There's an up and down. Correct. Like that water sphere, dude. So how do you think things work in reverse, if nothing else? Well, I think, like, we're moving towards what... We're, like, being drawn towards a source... The womb. We were in liquid in the womb. We're drawn to water. Oh, life's weird. Doesn't um. 
it doesn't really present itself well. It just is. And you have to figure it out. Uh, I mean, it's not too weird, because you can practice stuff and do the same thing over and over, and you get better at it every time you do it, for the most part. There's not really, like, a reason for anything, I don't think. I mean, reasoning exists. People reason with each other, try and make sense of it all. So I think, like, we're born into greatness. See, if I just say what's on my mind, I'll say pretty... I guess you would say, uh, grand things, like, aggrandizing things, like, we are all, cap we are all the same, we are all capable of succeeding. <sighs> I agree with that. Uh, but really, for you, the viewer, I should focus into the camera. Christian, when he comes, when Christian comes over, and you guys know this, and you know this. He is all about the camera. Christian. Christian. Like, the camera. It's like, sit down, look at the camera, talk to the camera. Well, we talk to each other. I almost feel camera. like it's a fucking act, though, at that point. Like, I can address the camera as though I'm talking to somebody, but if I'm all about the camera, then I'm putting on a show. And then once the record button is, like, stopped, I'll be like, ah! Oh. Ah, oh, man, that just happened. Okay, let me think about that. Like, something happened, but nothing really happened. I was talking for the whole time I was on camera for. On camera, off camera, it's like synonymous with fucking existing. I agree. Acting is the same fucking thing. You're not acting unless the director says, do it like this because this guy is your uncle and this person is your nephew or this is your aunt or this is your grandparent. Mm -hmm. You're going to act differently, but beyond that, you have no reason to... This isn't, well, kind of associated with Christian. When he's so directed toward the camera, it's so like... But then again, I've never, never hung out with him. I don't know what That's it's so like. That's so weird. Like, we still have the camera. So when I see him on camera, it's like he's so about the camera, he's putting on this hoity-toity, funny, like, funny faces, funny voices, dude. Yeah. Sometimes. But that's okay, too. We're talking about the funny voices, dude. That's okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it, it the many balance, voices of Christian. Dude, if that's what you're feeling, right? Sure, yeah. Because you're working it out, you know? Like, working your personality out, I guess. And not only working it out like you would work a knot out of a rope, but working it out like pr practicing it, making it stronger. Um, kind of streamlining your personality, making it what you want it to be by knocking away the baggage and... The funny voices. The funny voices are good. Like, if you do a funny voice good, you do it good. It's the funny character you got it. The way uh, David Mamet described it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what was it called, dude? David Mamet talked about acting. Uh, true and false. Common yeah. sense and hearsay for the actor. It's not really about just the acting thing. Anyway, what he said about funny voices doesn't necessarily mean, like, putting on an accent or fucking making fucking voices, but inventing something different. Instead of just saying what's in your mind and saying it how you naturally say it, it's inventing something, a way to say it, to present it as though it's more important than it actually is. Hmm. Like, did what I just did right there yeah. was my natural voice, and what I'm doing right now is still my natural voice, but because I'm trying to make a point, I'm using these funny voices. Even though I'm not really saying anything different, I'm not using like a higher or lower pitch, or I'm not really using an accent. It's like I'm just inventing something on the subject to make it seem more interesting, to entice people into it, instead of just enticing them with the words. It's interesting because, like, it's like the difference between scratching uh, a mosquito bite and like rubbing a mosquito bite. Like, when you're yourself, you're kind of massaging it until it goes away. But when you make the funny voice, you scratch it, and scratching a mosquito bite feels fucking good. Like it's like one exciting <laughs> yeah. feeling that causes this huge red mark on your skin, and 
makes it you want to do it more and more. Um, until it's like you can't bear it anymore. It's bleeding almost. And that's the problem. Like People like that, they're like, yeah, yeah, I want to be around. I, want, I can't take this. And Okay, I got my thing. And then the person ends up feeling lonely. And they're like, why don't people like me? And it's like because of the funny voice. If you just used your normal voice all the time, you'd be... But then you wouldn't be exciting. So it's like, you got to do both. And you got to know when to do both, somehow. To know when to do both. That's... That's what we call charisma, I think. Yeah. That's what we call magnetism. Oh. Charisma is a kind of magnetism. It's like Dude. a calculated magnetism. Yeah. Not really calculated because, well, I suppose it can be calculated. Or like pre-calculated? Or just uh, inherently known? Unknown, inherently unknown behavior? I think, I think, okay, charisma is like... I don't think charisma is something you can turn on and turn off. That would be calculation. I think charisma is something that is a part of you. You're not like, okay, I'm going to be charismatic now. You either are charismatic or you're not charismatic. Uh, that's interesting. You think that's true? I think that's true. I don't I don't necessarily think it's like a light switch. You're going to be like, I'm going to be charismatic now. But now I'm not. Now that's I dark. am. Now I'm not. Now I am. It's you know, it's not like a okay. light switch you just turn off and on. It's it's a piece of you, charisma, the balance between being able to make yourself laugh. Okay, I think charisma is just you being you naturally through and through all the time. Not all the time, because that's imbalance, but most of the time. The majority of the time when you're around people that don't know who they are, or even people that do know who they are, you can still be yourself. And in that, give others a sense of calm and comfort and make them want to be around you more because you're just so comfortable within your own skin, you radiate that. And, and as a result, they want to be around you so they feel comfortable and calm in their own skin so they can feel like maybe they're learning something more about themselves. Ah, like how to be comfortable? naturally, authentically comfortable. Yeah, I don't think you can just turn it on and turn it off. I have many, many friends that I don't think they can turn on charisma. If you are a charismatic person, you can choose to be a non-charismatic person. You can choose to be an asshole. But if you're just naturally not charismatic... Yeah, I think I have a lot of charisma. You're just comfortable within your own skin. I think you do as well because that's... You're comfortable, dude. You've reached a point where... Uh, sometimes you just don't give a fuck. And sure. people like to watch that, dude. And what is that? But magnetism. Magnetism. It's the science of sound. Because we're vibrating right now. We're, like, we're actually making a low-frequency sound right now. Just being is making a sound. Which is, I guess, translated as a type of a magnet, a pole, like the up and the down and the back. It's like a hook. Waves, they, they're like half hooks. Or they're like two hooks combined, you know? A hook and then a hook. Um, yeah, magnetic waves. But like, the thing is, I, when I was saying, I feel like I'm really charismatic. Like, I would give my, my character really high charisma, but like, I can shut it off, kind of. And like, but like, people will still, like, I'll go out, and it's like, or maybe you like only have. I'll go out and I don't know. I don't know why I'm like I enjoy testing the degradation of interpersonal relationships so much. Like uh, when I'm out in a bar and I go in, immediately people are like drawn to me. I think not necessarily, but like if I start talking to someone, they're like I'm really talking to them. Like when I'm really looking at them and talking. Yeah, to them, yeah. You know, people like, are drawn to that because you don't see that shit every day, dude. That's part of what helps with the camera and yeah. pretending it's a person, but it's like a training mechanism, and I feel like I don't need to train right anymore. But I guess you always should train, right? 
I think being aware of the camera is a good thing, dude. I think when you're talking as though it's another person in the room, it makes the videos that much more interesting, that much more effective and charismatic. If you just totally ignore it, then you're doing that on purpose, somehow or another. But if you accept the fact that there's, it's not an eye, it's a lens that's recording that you're, you know, it's recording a video that you're potentially going to broadcast to other people. In that sense, it does become not just one person, but many, many people. You. I think to acknowledge it, it's, it's cool. I dig it. We need to build a city. We need to build a website that's like YouTube, but it's a democracy. City, dude. And test a new Start wave of democracy. It, I think that's a good way to go. To start to, to get an idea of how you would found a new civilization before you actually found the civilization on a website. Do it digitally. It yeah, I think we should. I think it'd be fucking hugely popular. I, I mean, it doesn't have to be hugely popular. I think it would be popular. Just I think has it would be, be effective well received. Enough. Effective. It has to be effective. It has to be good enough to change sixty people or sixty percent of a small group of people. Or 60% of the world. 60 people. If it can hit 60 people, if 60 people are creating a democracy on a website through voting and forming a kind of currency and using the currency for interaction of some sort, but a currency based on, um, like, worth, like a... See, these aren't my ideas, so I kind of feel weird about regurgitating them. Like, Well, you just said that, so that's cool. Keep going with it because they're good ideas. They are good ideas, and I want I want to I want to let them out. But Go ahead, it's, dude. Oh, you said they're not yours. They're not my ideas. This is people that I've been talking with. A lot of people have been we've been we've been nurturing these ideas and, and kind of looking for the best way to do it, the best way to go about it. And it's definitely something I want to make public discussion debate. Um, but like a new kind of currency that's not about amassing wealth. It's about your value as a human. You're worth something. Just being a being gives you value, and the more alive you are, the more value you are. I believe, like as you get older, you have more value, and and the currency that we've kind of come up with is like, like you can allocate. I mean, if you call them votes, or if you call them, you know, you have a certain amount of units that you you start with one, and then every year, or you start with ten. Everyone's born; they have ten points that they can allocate to anything, and it's like if you want to get food you can contract with the restaurant and say, I'll give you six votes for two days for this sandwich. And so then you sign, you make a contract with this business. They give you the sandwich. And for two days, you have six less votes to allocate. And this restaurant now has six more votes to allocate. Now, the, the confusion then would be if they wanted to allocate something for six balance, days... Dude? The only flaw I see in that is you can... You it's can not. Like, that would work. It wouldn't work because you got to balance. Are like, I'm going to become this character that you want me to be so I can win your vote so I become rich. That's what would happen. That's what I'm saying with you. You'd be like, vote for me. So, give me your votes so how and do I'll give them to the right people. Who they are at that point. How do people, how do people understand who each other is? Are, is but just by watching each other? Each other is. That's a good way to phrase it. Do you want because to sit here? Yeah. I get this. Right here. So if I'm sitting here and I I want your votes and we're sitting here in front of this camera, I could I could put on this character that's not entirely me. So I win your votes. So I in essence win your votes. And then I walk outside and I go down to the store and I want a beer. So I take the votes that you gave me and charm this person to give to have them give me a beer and turn for the votes that I got and it's like every single person I meet no matter where I go no matter what I'm doing I'm putting on this different mask to placate to these other people so I win their votes so I become rich and wealthy with all these votes and I have all the power it's like it, it's just fucking currency and power man instead of an understanding instead of absolutely nothing you, it's the only thing would be like 
I have this, you have that. Your body needs water, and I would like some of that. I'll temporarily trade you. And this is called barter. There's no money involved, there's no votes involved, there's no form of currency involved, it's just this, that, and the other thing. I mean, the only flaw in that would be like people start stealing from each other. Or if you want to but trade your cow, you got to take it. Something. Say it again. If you want to barter your cow or your or your huge big thing, it, like transporting goods is a problem. That's why money is so popular. Well, at that point, we wouldn't have to worry about cows. Uh, it was just an example. Uh, at that point, we wouldn't have to worry about cows because at that point, like there would be an understanding, I think, in in society where. Cows may like uh, what's that called? The meat in the in vitro meat. Yeah, we wouldn't need cows anymore. True. Well, we wouldn't need to eat them. We wouldn't need to take advantage of them. They just would exist. They would exist. Well, we wouldn't need to eat them, so I wouldn't need to use them as barter, unless I really wanted a cow to pet, which I don't really know why I would want a cow just to pet. So you think this currency system is not a good idea? See, the thing is, I think anything that's currency is going to lead to the people that have greed. It's going to keep that keep that flower, if you will, that seed, blossoming into a flower of negative, of uh, ill communication, of fear, of judgment, of power. But there, there needs to be none of that at all. There needs to be an understanding of how humans can and will evolve. Because, you know, without greed and without negativity and without power, we just simply are. We come back to our animalistic nature. We fuck when we want to fuck. We procreate. And this is on a ba very basic level here. I'm not talking this is what we need to do. Just fuck everything in sight. But, you know, with an understanding, we do what we need to do to keep evolution happening and communicating to each other. So power, you think is a bad thing? Perversion of power is a bad thing. And that's what comes with uh, money. Unfortunately, money breeds power to people that aren't really powerful. Unintelligent people left and right, dude, have a ton of fucking money. But like, so what if you get votes from people and you then spread your votes to other people, spread it around equally to people, and then you're a smart person. But there's no guarantee, I think, that there's going to be any mass of those type of people. You don't need them. I mean, I guess it would be nice if everyone followed that that example. And it would be nice if a lot of people followed examples now that a ton of people are putting out there with their good causes that you can find everywhere on the Internet and everywhere in your local community and things like that. But it's just simply not happening. This is because our level of consciousness hasn't reached that point yet. No matter if it's votes, or if it's seashells, or if it's dollar bills, or if it's glasses of water, I don't, I don't know. If it's any one thing that's tangible, people will want more of it so they can own everything. But and they're going to do whatever they can to get that. The they're going to put on fucking masks. They're going to, the they're going to manipulate people, dude. But the thing about this this system of votes a vote-based economy would be that you can't amass them because I mean I guess you could amass them I, I was thinking you couldn't but now it just seems like obviously you can amass them by getting a bunch of votes from a bunch of people for X amount of time and then you'll have X amount of votes until uh, until your time's up so but then eventually those votes will be gone so you have to use them while you have them so you can't like stockpile money. Like, you can't stockpile votes like you can stockpile money. You would just get what you need to use, and then after a certain amount of time, that would go back to the owner, the the creator of it. How do... I mean, how do you document that? Contracts. Those contracts are pretty powerful. Yeah, because I was thinking, like, like someone could start gun. contracts. 
Well, it's like currency. I mean, you just have to have like official contracts, and there'd be a lot of contracts. Because it'd be it's like, like you want to buy a pack of bubble That's gum. That's exactly like, oh. what uh, what money is is a contract. Well, what? Okay, so so how else? What's a better form of of currency or no form of currency? Like, just an elevation of of consciousness to understanding but, what so we how, need and what we don't need. How do you decide who gets what? Um, with a proper understanding, I feel like the people that can do the things that need to be done would come forth and say, "I can do this. It needs to be done for the evolution of humanity." Like I'm sacrifice. talking on a very, very advanced level here. Like alien species, they don't ask questions, they don't hold, like... When I say they, I'm talking about what I've experienced in, like, sci-fi movies and stuff like that. You know, they don't hold boards or clinics or whatever. They just do what they have to do to keep the evolution happening. Uh, so in the meantime, maybe that's what you're asking. What do we do between now and that point? I suppose keep refining, keep chipping away at the ice block or just keep putting out there that we need to have an understanding. We need to eradicate the people that are fucking stupid and we need to eradicate the people that, that are so fucking greedy and care nothing about their fellow humans but so much on materials. They focus so much on things that are so puny, so fucking punitive is what I wanted to say. So small and insignificant, dude. Like what stuff? <laughs> Look around you, dude. Like this thing? Everything. Yeah. Is this worthless? I mean, it looks cool. It's like finding a shiny rock. Somewhat useful. I definitely don't need it. But I have it. And you I haven't gotten rid of it. You don't need anything in here. Well, uh, I mean, the food. You don't need anything in here. Okay, know. but to define need, like, something to survive in the manner that you want to survive then. Yeah. So then need and want are used in the same And if you're using need and want, like, what's the... I no, mean, how no, do you define no, using need, need? You don't need anything in here. You, don't need, you can get rid of all that food in your fridge and walk away from this room with a clothes in your back and never turn back, ever, and still live because your natural instinct will kick in. You'll find food. You will survive. With no money in your pocket, with no cell phone, with nothing else. You don't need anything in here. You choose to have it, and everyone does. And it's not a bad thing, dude. So, I'm not... Chastising okay. you for it at all, or myself, because I have a computer yeah, sure. and like this shit. But it's kind of an observation, yeah. You know? So if we don't need anything, so Grant, okay, if there's a system, if if you were if you were in charge of a system of people, like sixty people, how how would you decide who got what? The abilities of the people. What can you do? What can so you, you do? What can you, you do? You would get what to know each individual. Yeah, communicate, man. Talk to them, and they will talk back. So, I'm interested in starting a community. Community. Communication. Commun That's what it's all about, man. That's exactly what it's about, dude. Because when you know people, the answer is obvious of who gets what. You get what you need. You exactly. Get what you close to kind. You don't really. I mean, you get what you need. If there's such a thing as need, there you get is. what's best suited for there you. There is. I think based on the person who's giving air, to you, his opinion of you. Uh, we're both talking at the same time. It's going to be interesting to see mm -hmm. what we were saying. I think we should do that a lot. Yeah, that's okay. good. Uh, uh, there's a few things. I mean, there's a very small amount of things that we need to survive as human beings. Food, shelter, air and water. Some human Clothing. beings, some animals survive without shelter. Or animals you know, need, I mean, occasionally. Okay. So food, water, food, water, and I think more than shelter, emotional support or reciprocation. Um, you think without more than shelter? Without bringing it too back, too... 
reversing too far back into the animalistic instincts. Because even though we are animals, we are fucking sophisticated. And to tell you the truth, man, we're not going any stupider. We're just getting smarter and smarter. So, food, shelter, water, these are basic necessities of life. We've adapted to having shelter. We've lost our hair. Our skin have, has it's gotten thinner. I mean, our bones have gotten more fragile. So, we're going in the way that either we'll end up extremely fragile and like developing these glass balls or spheres that we float around in or we can kind of find the balance between our intellect and our creativity and what we need and our animal instincts and keep it raw and natural that's a good way I think the animal instinct though man animal instinct fights I understand that. Analysts think like the, there'll be wars and stuff like that. Okay, fine. Uh, but there's no reason to have weapons of mass destruction at all, ever. There's no reasons to have guns. What protection? No. With with effective communication, all this shit is eradicated. Dude, I've been thinking about this for a long time, man. And if you want to go in on a website, where we start practicing understanding or a utopian society, I'm fucking down, dude. The Leather Apron Club. I don't know if that's the website. That's the website we have right now. The Leather Apron Club. It'd have to be a website with streaming video. <clears throat> and a website where you could make video and a website where there's a group of people that really want to do it together that know each other or they get to know each other so if you're into it I mean maybe I don't even need to say let me know because maybe the natural instinct is you will let me know because I've let you know and that's just you don't need to be like tell people what to do you just tell people what you want and the people that want the same kind of thing tell you that they want it and then you can choose to unify. I, I've got this weird thing of like, okay, well, let me know. And it's like, I don't need to tell, you know, I don't need to do that anymore. It's just, this is what I want to do. I want to form a better society and start here now. I mean, I could totally keep talking, leave the video recording. I'm having fun. The people that Stupid. are going to come back, I feel like we should do the whole two computer thing. I think we should too. Okay. I'll set that up while I'm talking. Okay. Okay, I feel ahead. like when you said you want to start a whole society, people are going to say, well, some people. Probably the ones that would fall by the wayside, to be honest with you, if there was an eradication of all the stupid people. Well, you're starting a cult following? You're starting a cult? Yeah, I don't want to... Starting a fucking cult. Thanks for pointing that out, because I don't want to start anything. Stuff has already started. Everything already started. I got started when I was born, so I want to... It's I want, I want. That's the gross part about what I am or what humans think they are. I, I don't know if I want it or what. Want, but dude, it's want. like this visceral need, this need. Desire, I need. Desire, dude. It has to happen. It's powerful. Want is a positive thing that's been perverted right. into a negative energy. And it's totally not, 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 not a negative energy. Without desire, we would not have the technology to talk. That's As though there's another person in the room. Yeah. We wouldn't have the technology to sit in a chair, to wear the clothes in your back, to feel the heat from that flame. I used it. Without desire, dude. Desire is effective when used effectively. Okay, I want to use what we have, or at least, you know, realistically look at some of the technology that's available. We got streaming video, we can get some bandwidth, we can get uh, a sweet setup on pages like embedded video like a YouTube page you could go to their page and you could like stream from your page and have all your videos on your side and have a great chat with a real-time text chat uh, maybe a voice-to-text chat that would be cool like uh, as you're talking live it would be like writing what you're saying too that would be really cool because then people could just watch you and not have to listen to you if they want I mean just 
that technology is available, so why don't we use it? We should set this up so we can um, integrate these phones because now this is pretty. It's new now with a UStream and uh, this thing called Quick, and I just am downloading this Stick Cam, Stickum. I gotta start calling it Stickum because that's what it's supposed to be called. I'm sorry that I bastardized that word and made fun of it and called it Stick Cam for so long. It's Stickum. Um, Stickum's got an app where you can stream from your phone, but it's really laggy right now. So, but but as that gets better, that'd be really cool. Um, I have this camera going too. Turn around and keep talking. Or uh, that's a good idea. That looks really cool. So as the edit goes, the voice continues. Or if you want to switch because you like looking at that camera, it doesn't really matter to me. Sure. Like here? I was going to say switch seats. It's up to you. How? Like this? You want like to sit in this chair? Switch it. Like if you're used to looking at that camera, you should sit I want to sit in this seat, but I'll do I'll sit in that seat. That black I mean, one. You can sit black in room. this seat and like... I just want to lean back. Yeah. Do you want to look at this camera and sit in this seat? That what you're comfortable with? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah. That's cool. We got music motion, dude. We do. We switched. We switched. Position. Hi, I'm make sure you can see your uh, over the shoulder view. Like this? Yeah. Well, get hey. comfortable and I can. Should we edit this video too? Yeah. Uh, I'll try to. Like, leave like a long part of it is just us talking because I don't love that. Yeah. There's something, I mean, it's so genuine about, you know, just talking. And listening. Right there. Perfect. That looks really cool. All right. Uh, I hope the mic's good enough on that webcam. I this? It. Yeah. I mean, it sounded okay earlier. Should we kick on a light or something? Maybe that Pretty one. good with a light. Uh, there's this one right here. We are music motion, those are the days. Good time, family time. Rockin', moving. Best time around. Down, all around. Good. What is it? Uh, <laughs> all around. Get your head above your head. Yeah. We got music we got motion. It. Those were the days. Were the days. Good times, family we got time. It. Rockin' and rockin' in the best Dance town. All around. Those were the days. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's pretty good. Ah, uh, well, well, uh, to you know, we whatever, dude. We can go back to the conversation or kind of evolve from it. Like people, they're gonna like they're gonna think that you're talking about a fucking cult, dude. Well, That's it's a website. Dude. It's not a cult. It's a new form of government. Like I, it's an economy. I really want to like a Facebook app or something is, is another thing on my mind but like the best way to practice a new form of economy other than money like like where it's really about personality instead of what you have it's about who you are right how do you focus on any type of currency at all or don't you Like votes, something about votes. Like people get voted to I do feel stuff. Like it's, I, f I mean, based on what we were talking about, I feel like there's going to be in in end all. Like it's the contract we write is going to end up. Hey, we may as well make this contract pocket size, put it in our wallet, color it green, and put some president on it that used to be. Oh, yeah, it's it's like currency, man. Votes are a good idea. I enjoy that, but I feel like the the people aren't there yet to really. I mean, they're not there yet to handle money, I'll tell you that much. Okay. So, uh, what makes you think they're going to be there enough to handle votes? 
because they can do anything to get votes. If I don't like you and I don't know, if I don't like you and I don't care what you do with your life, but I know that you have votes because you own a product that I want, I will do anything it takes. I'll put on any mask, theoretically speaking, hypothetically speaking. That's good for you. That's not good because then I don't know who I am because I'm lost in this. I'm this guy for this guy, well, you this don't guy for this guy. But if I'm in yeah. front of all these people at once, who the fuck am I? Like, I might lose your votes. I might lose his votes because yeah. these guys might see me differently. Right. You got. It's all about. I mean, you got to be genuine. And you just get what you need. You just take what you. I mean, you take what you need. Like if you need, if you need somebody's votes, you would have to give them something. Ideally, ideally, right, right. So why do people steal things still? Because it's about the things. It's still about the things. It's not about. I mean, things are things well, are. That's, like, that's just one example. Like, and, and they can be moved from place to place. I guess what I'm. I guess what uh, what I was asking about stealing things. Why do people still have greed? There's and some, what, I don't know. What, what about the the whole vote thing? Um, because I you like never it. know what you're going to need. So if you have a lot of things or to access, you might wake up tomorrow and realize you need a basketball or. A, po a pole, a twelve-foot pole, or a rake, or something, or whatever you need it for, you can. You know, if someone calls you, you and is like, "Hey, do you, you have a basketball? Can we? Yes. Do you want to play basketball? Yeah, yeah, you know that kind of stuff. So like, greed comes out of like, well, I want to be ready for tomorrow, or if someone needs it, someone else asks me, I want to, I want to seem on top of things or greed. Cool. I think stems from insecurity. I'm not fulfilled. I'm not. I'm not proving myself unless I have these things. So I need to have everything so I can prove myself to everybody all the time. Well, I, it's I not that I this. want I need everything. This. I need this. That's what I think. I want access stuff. to everything. You have access to everything. I don't. I, I want access do. to a jet tomorrow, just in case I want to go to Austin. You do. Yeah, but I don't have access to a jet tomorrow. Why? Well, I mean, because I, I do have access to a jet. Yeah, but I gotta. I think like, like long term. I think like. I have access to a jet tomorrow, but then I won't have access to a lot of other things that I would have had access to if I didn't access the jet. And I want to be able to access a jet and everything else, and seven more jets if I need to. The and only reason why it costs so much is because of overpopulation. The jet is in demand. There's too many people wanting that one jet. If there were more jets, right? So okay, we need that's one thing. More we ability need, to make things. We need less people. Or more production. Less people. Or both. Disagree. We less definitely people. need more production, or uh, better, quicker production, more refined production process that's more available. Like, I mean, if we have nano production, like if we could construct element like carbon, like metals, easier, and like people could make jets in their backyard faster. Yeah. Like create use waters fuel. Well, at that point, we're beating around the bush. We may as well fucking. Just play music and make money and teleportation. Yeah. Right, exactly. It's ridiculous. But that's what we need. I mean, either that or we got to kill a bunch of people, or not or we, but like a bunch of people got to die. Well, they're dying slowly. With they are. Fast I know, food, but not but fast enough because these fucking people are still having more kids. Like they're prolonging the process. The longer we don't have a law about how many fucking kids you can have, these people are prolonging the process of our evolution. We are simply will not as long as we have to cater to their fucking needs. They're, oh, so they're creating more need by creating more people. Then we have resources to fulfill. So what is the law? What there's should, no law. There's an understanding. So like if you're making a website, if I put five or six people in this world, it's ineffective because each one of those people are going to learn from my example and have three or well, four like, or five or six kids. So then, if you were making like a website, would you limit the amount of videos people could make? No. Because that's a sort because, of reproduction, also. Well, maybe, maybe if it starts tapping into bandwidth, right? And it's ineffective. Yeah, probably. But uh, maybe not. Maybe, I don't like maybe that. Maybe uh, maybe put up a few different links. And, well, then again, money is just a fucking illusion. No, I wouldn't. My natural instinct was no, and then my fear came in and said. If I did, well, if I didn't, it would cost too much. Dude, we can feed all the people, but we need better access no, to the food. Like we shan't, we, we shouldn't, we shan't grow crops in Iowa that we eat okay. in Los Angeles. Like we grow we, them in Los Angeles. We can feed all the people right now. 
But if there is no understanding as to how many people that each person can put into the world after themselves, it'll reach a like a uh, what are they critical mass? What they call when water on the stove reaches the temperature to where like one bubble happens, two bubbles happen, before you know it, it's multiplied tenfold and within, it takes like, from room temperature water, it takes like four or five minutes to start boiling, but once that first bubble goes, it takes like 30 seconds, 45 seconds to start boiling, that's critical mass. If we don't reach an understanding, we won't be able to feed all these people. We won't be able to have resources and cars and jets and, and transportation and clothes and fucking everything for all these people because it's going to reach a point where it's just too many fucking people and not enough resource. This is one planet, dude. And whether we get off this planet or not, the fucking sun's going to explode at one point. Like, Yeah, but I don't think... I mean, I think we're maybe at like 1% of the load of people that this planet can hold. And why challenge that? Um, Because I don't want to wipe the people out. I'd rather feed the people in a different way. You'd rather just be putting people? I'm not... Yeah, more people. Trying Spread to them around. The people, I mean, but organisms grow, multiply, and then eventually the a big crunch. The balance will. between... Dude, there's so many fucking people in Los Angeles, let alone okay. New York, let alone everywhere else in the world. So is there an understanding that there's too many people here, I'm forced to live over here? I think there's an understanding that there's too many fucking people being reproduced. It's my opinion, dude, like... We slow the process down. We're in less demand for cars, fossil fuels. We can start focusing on magnetic transportation or water combustion or whatever it's going to be because it's going to be something else because fucking gasoline is hideous. Yeah, water. I think it's the best way to do it. Water's fucking great. Man. There's so much water. Um, we might be at 1% of the population as far as land and water and earth versus people. But if we keep growing, Probably keep growing, keep like growing, point what, water, point what's going to happen with the water? Like, we all live underwater? Like, that we live then, underwater? Then, like, we just keep on top of the water? We keep boiling out after that? Like, there's so many people on this planet, we go to another planet and boil out over that yeah. planet and the next planet and that planet. Yeah. Like, and then we'll live even off planets and we're stuff. We're just... I feel like we're fucking microorganisms. I feel like we're bacteria yeah. at this point. We don't care what the fuck we're doing to our natural resources. Well, I do. But kind of, I don't. I mean, I mean at the same I... time, I go to the gas station and I'm like, I was just thinking, like, the gas companies, they don't want you to stop using gas. And they have all this course, money because they're and they're paying money. the lawyers and the law people to make the laws so that we don't stop using gas. Because they use gas. They want us to buy the gas. And I'm like... That sucks, man. And I'm buying gas. And I was like, what could I do? This was like yesterday when I was at the gas station. I was like, yesterday or two days ago. Yesterday, I think. I was like, I could boycott. I could just never have gotten a car. I was like, I'm not one of those people that just won't get a car because I think it's it's wrong. I, I, I'm Turn like, a little bit. which way? This no, way? Yeah, I, I'm like the kind of person that uses the evil to the greater good, if that's such a thing. I don't know. But I use the money gladly. I want to make more money. I want to get a lot of money. I want to. I will use the gas until Why I get do you a want better money, so that I have influence or more influence. But power. I'm, yeah. Are so people will so the so the lawmakers will listen to me instead of the guy that's selling the oil. Because I'm not selling oil. I'm selling music. You know, I'm selling a product, but it's not it's not a natural resource. It's like a, a free creation product. Yeah, Video. Might be I mean, ahead of ourselves. Maybe, but yeah, I want that. I want that evil. I want to. Uh, I don't. I don't want to eradicate gas. I won't stop using it. I mean, I, I guess I could if I could get a better engine. If I had some money, if I had like forty grand to spend on a car, if someone was like, "Hey, here's forty thousand dollars. You can only spend it on a car," I would get like a hydrogen engine or something, something or like a battery charging engine that I could like run an extension cord to. Because it makes sense, dude. Yeah, man. I mean, even until the next electricity is ridiculous because it's coal burning so plants. This is and the shit. thing, like. Every piece of technology, well, virtually every piece of significant technology we have nowadays, fossil fuels, things like this, the way we eat our food, the, the fucking Food Inc. video that we're watching today, almost everything is, uh, yeah, by the way, whew. <laughs> uh, Food Inc. is, was effective at one point, 
and it was the best they could have done. Right now, this is not the best we can do. We're way too smart. We're just so accustomed to our customs, so used to what we've so our history, what what we've come from. We're like, well, it's worked in the past. Let's just keep doing it. Mm. Everything like I'm. I've been thinking about this notion that everything around us is a byproduct of me. Like, I'm a human being. Everything around us is a byproduct of a human being. There is no corporations. There is no thing. There's nothing. You know, like, um, <clears throat> in this thought pattern, if I feel passionately about anything, I can make that come true. Okay, then it's all about the people. So, it's like making a call to the people. Yeah, influencing the people through suggestion. Instead of telling them, or, well, maybe... Instead of telling them, this is why you need a car that consumes oil and has four rubber tires, which are made from oil, and burns fossil fuels. This is why you need this. I say this is why you don't. Suggest. Well, I feel like I've suggested all these other ideas and people are like, yeah, great, do something. I'm like, okay. So I want to call to people. I want to, I want to say, come kind together. I feel like you are doing something, are you? Yeah, we are. I mean, we're definitely making videos and... I mean, beyond, I mean movies and all that. People in the entertainment industry, that's huge doing. But like... I don't know what, like, I'll be like, join us, and talking to you, whoever's watching, you, you person, hello, join us, but then we post the video, and then you're like, yes, I, I will, what, what do I need to do, and I'm like, hands in the air, I'm like, I need a business plan, I guess, is that, should we, should we right now, literally start writing down steps is is it the website the first priority or is it a website's a good place to start we have that you know leather apron club based off of benjamin franklin's brilliant idea okay so we have that should we do more on that i think another thing to be concerned about is not trying to overextend yourself right staying focused right. and yeah. determined because so i do have a website okay. we're, we're on the right path okay. it's going to take some time we have music it's taken since the advent of the car alone, beyond everything else, modern society and currency and all that shit, banking system, dude, it's taken that long to get to where we are now. And though technology accelerates, it's going to take a lot longer for people's brains to really acclimate to a new whole thought process okay. to rewire. So oh, that's cool. we we definitely have to get some steps out there. You're right yeah, about that. Yeah, because and, people and putting like, that I out want there to on these cameras is a great idea. I remember Swen, I mean, years ago, was like, Okay, when I was like, I want we, we can change the world. I was like, okay, yeah. what's what's the plan? And I was like, uh, it was the best question. I don't, I still don't know. No one does. Nobody does. No well, fucking anyone in this world knows what's happening. Knows what's going on. I mean, everyone's like, <laughs> they're trying to be so. Obama laid out some pretty good, but he's just like doing damage control. It's all furious, dude. Yeah. Like in the silence of your own fucking heart. When you're sleeping, well, right before you go to sleep in bed, and you're contemplating this this utopian society, you know all the answers that anyone could ever ask. You just gotta say them, and people will respond to them. And then just like bit by bit, rather than trying to be like, Slowly. this is everything we gotta do. I gotta be like, yeah. this is one thing we gotta do. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta be go smart to enough and disciplined and enough to take it slowly, which is. <sighs> tough. It's a lifelong endeavor and it's a lifestyle. And oftentimes people that change the world go fucking unnoticed for X amount of hundreds of years or whatever after their death. Dude. So they might live 90 years. Or in this case, 150, 200 years in our lifetimes. Yeah. Well, we might not be recognized for. So what? So well. we're 
So this is what I'm going back and forth with. Do I play my, my music? Do I create my movies and do what I love to do? Or do I become proactive and change the fucking world? Or both. I think it's about the people. It's about not being afraid of the people. Or about engaging the people. Like sacred fools. I gotta go to say, I gotta be on good, friendly terms with everybody there. Everyone. Why? Why do you feel like you have to? Because it's the to? people. Like, that's what I can do. That's the thing I can Because it's like, you know, that's, um, that's how you change. Way from the outside in instead of from the inside out. Become friends with everyone in Los Angeles. By that time, people say, like, fools are gonna be like, dude, Ian Cross and fucking knows everyone. Yeah, dude. Maybe, maybe I should call him and be like, dude, I haven't talked to you in a while. What's up? Let's hang out. Instead of you trying to work against the river, man, go with the flow. So, but the problem is, everyone's got their own flow. And when I get to start getting to know people, they want me to go on their flow, but I got to keep going on my flow. And then there's like all this tension. And well, there's also a balance of communication. Right now, we're kind of flowing and streaming together. That's what makes good friends. Okay. But that doesn't necessarily mean you have to be good friends with everyone and vibe with everybody. But on that vein, just because you don't vibe with someone doesn't mean you have to never talk to them. You know oh. what I mean? In order to change the world, there has to be some some type of connection. If your guy if you guys are vibing or flowing, let's use water two different ways, it's not gonna be easy. Because your stream's going this way and it has since the top of the mountain, and it's going to until the fucking jetty down yonder. And so is him only in the other direction. So your tensions, but you're still just bodies of water. You're still made up of the same shit. That's good. Okay. So this is like training communication right now. Yeah. That's good. The two cameras is a good idea. Yeah. It's a really good idea. This is awesome. People love this, dude. Dude, we get three cameras. And Christian comes over. Uh, can, oh I'm yeah! I'm sure we can. The I got that. I mean, I got those two cameras, so I can set them. Maybe set them both up. But we only have two fucking computers right now. But three cameras would be cool. We went from four cameras that we didn't even use. Well, now we have an iPhone. Yeah. Set the iPhone up over there or something. Yeah. yeah. We'll get like a three. That'll be good. Uh, I got two cameras. You could plug one in here and download Logitech and use Logitech and thing and uh, iMac I might be able to do it on that too but they're both Logitech so I don't know mm. oh I got another camera on the web on the laptop too yeah that's real cushion so, so we have one two three four five cameras we went from seven I, to that other one if we can get it fixed cost about a hundred bucks to fix it the DV okay. <coughs> but yeah just yeah just get over here with tape yeah. Oh. Training communication, that's good. I'm moving that thing, is it a bad thing? Free no. Yeah, I like your face up there. That's pretty good. Uh. Yes. So when you said we can change the world, we can definitely change the world. It's, it's not going to be overnight, dude. And everyone kind of thinks it is, and they're like, okay, how are you going to change the world, Ian, in one video or in one uh, YouTube channel with a few thousand views apiece? How are you going to change the world? I don't think it has anything to do with your YouTube videos so much as it is your actual interaction with people. Like I said, from the outside in instead of from the inside out. So the because way even you if your views, are, even if your videos are getting ten thousand, hundred thousand, five hundred thousand views, it's just people on a computer. Right. That may or may not be talking to other people that are going to look at your. But if you're talking to people, and you have a million man march everything you do online is going to get 500 million views 20 million views people it's time consuming it is it's a life thing it's a life commitment it's a lifestyle I'd much rather do that than anything else yeah 
Oh, uh, we can do that through music. You said that earlier today, dude. The most impactful thing in the world is music. And I said these companies, remember that, dude? The fucking companies. I'm like, I can't imagine how they love music. Or how they, yeah, I think they hate music. You said, no, everyone loves music. No one hates music. No one hates, nobody hates music. Right. I think they hate music. music. I think that these people that take advantage of such potential have like how can they how can enjoy how can they enjoy something that makes you feel so good makes you feel so real and so down to earth it's they have to hate anything that makes you remotely no. feel anything human I don't think so I mean they're still human they all the new music's unstoppable I know and that's why we need to use it music so I'm glad you said that uh, it there's no fucking language barriers, dude. There's nothing. Right. The sound. Well, the only thing is deaf people, but they still have the vibration of mm -hmm. it. Yeah, man. Beat, rhythm. They can hear it. I, I was thinking, kind of getting excited about having Christian here. And like, yeah. And like another person and another person having like. Oh my god, dude. Fuck yeah. I'd like to have Heidi here. Heidi Houseman. Yeah. Houseman. Houseman. Houseman? Yeah. She's smart, dude. Dude. She's Christian cool. here, like, Swen. Yeah, Swen, dude. They're all over the Heidi. world. Yeah. Well, I mean, we can do it on stick cam. So one stick guy that had an idea for YouTube has things called YouTube Gathering, which brings all these people together. There's one guy with one idea and one desire. That YouTube. book, Think and Grow Rich, by... Uh, Napoleon Hill is all about that. If you have an idea and you have a passion, follow it. If you feel like you can fulfill a demand or supply a need, follow it. And you can do anything. You can change the world. You can influence people. Every company out there, Dell, Apple, everything all around you, everywhere, was built by some person, one person, that had one idea, one passion, followed it through with effective execution, and other people that he got to or she got to believe in their idea. Nothing's impossible in this fucking world. The only way I know that is because every idea that's ever come into play that has built things around us has built things around us. Has actually happened. So maybe we should leave it on a question? I, I just want to keep talking on the video. I have no problem. It's fine. Like I feel like I was just like thinking of the Leather Apron Club. Yeah. And the idea of, of asking a question, posing a question, what do you think is the best thing we could do right now? Yeah, maybe. Do you know any? Yeah, more specific. Maybe like one of these, like maybe this video in a highlight form would be cool. So we have people to at least get on our same page before we just straight up ask them a question. People like to be yeah, yeah. warmed up to things. Mm -hmm. The editing is kind of rough for, for truth and honesty, but at the same time it might be even better editing the video rather than... Because like, what I would really want to do with everybody that's listening and watching and all that is that it, they, they were really here with us. Yeah. Like in the room listening and watching and talking, but it's, it's a, I mean people kind of all want to talk and that's okay. okay okay yeah so what uh what the guy did that started youtube was had the basic idea i want to share this video of the world he didn't have the idea that you have which is i want all these intelligent people around me to discuss intelligent things and to effectively change the world and bring consciousness up to a level that it needs to be at to make things effective for the evolution of humanity. That's a desire. That's a thought, and there's an effective way to do it. Wow. And it can be mainstream. So... So we surround ourselves with the people that know the answers.